Hi, Emily. Nice Hello. to meet you again. Nice thanks for you. yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming um, on Sunday morning. Well, exactly a little over uh, noon. Thanks for coming. Um, may I have your full name? Yeah, I'm Emily Boulevard. Okay. So, yep. Would you tell me about university you graduated from? Mm -hmm. I graduated um, last May at the University of Minnesota in Duluth. All right. So you majored in uh, theater and minored in art and psychology. Mm -hmm. Okay. So would you tell me about your college life a little yes. bit? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I was a theater major, so I have a, a broad arts background. Mm -hmm. um, and I really, really enjoyed um, learning about um, storytelling and um, mm -hmm. finding um, teaching experiences while I was um, in school. So mm -hmm. I was an um, arts intern and I got to teach an acting class. Um, I also balanced. Intern where? Uh, it was at um, a nonprofit, a mm. local nonprofit called Choice Unlimited. Um, so it was in a class for adults with developmental disabilities. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and so that was one of my first experiences mm -hmm. um, teaching and, and uh, managing a classroom. Okay. Um, and it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. And while I was in school, I balanced um, academics and extracurriculars with work experience. Mm -hmm. So I also worked at um, the Career Service Center at the university mm -hmm. um, and worked one-on-one -on -one, um, with students on their resumes and cover letters. Mm -hmm. um, and I also um, did presentations for classes mm -hmm. about how to write cover letters and, and mm -hmm. um, all of those things. So, okay. yeah. All right, then theater. So, um, were you on, uh, on the stage? Yes. Play? Yeah. Um, I, I was, um, it was, uh, such a broad education. So I was a playwright. I was a director. Mm -hmm. I was an assistant director at one point and an actress. Mm -hmm. Um, so I wore many different hats. I worked behind the scenes and on stage. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, lots of leadership roles, but also working, um, in a really collaborative mm -hmm. way with lots of people mm -hmm. kind of as a team. Okay. Um, so that was an excellent experience. Okay. Many, many times I heard, um, the people in a theater field or, you know, um, teach children mm -hmm. how to, how to play, you know, um, how to play, how do, how do you say, um, you know, how mm -hmm. to play acting? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, have you ever uh, got involved in that kind of activity? Absolutely. I've uh, been a camp counselor, mm -hmm. and my theater background helped me enormously. So theater camp? As a, yeah, I was a, a camp counselor for an art camp. Okay. And then um, also as a nanny, as um, as a visitor assistant at the Children's Museum in St. Paul, mm -hmm. um, all of those roles, I, I really drew a lot from my theater background. Okay. Um, and um, sometimes when I have, um, when I'm trying to communicate an idea to mm -hmm. kids and help mm -hmm. engage kids in what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, acting becomes really important. I can mm -hmm. act something out mm -hmm. and um, make kids laugh or engage students in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it would be really helpful as an ESL teacher. Um, I know I can draw from that and mm -hmm. pantomime and communicate with my body and my face. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely something Especially when we work, work with uh, younger children. Absolutely. Right? It, mm -hmm. it definitely has been so helpful in working with younger mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I heard a little bit of uh, your story working at uh, public school mm -hmm. now, right? Yes. So would you tell me a little? Absolutely. Um, I recently was hired as a special ed assistant mm -hmm. in the Minneapolis Public School District. So mm -hmm. I work at Jefferson Elementary School, um, uh -huh. but I do work with middle school students as well. So mm -hmm. um, I have many students that I work with. Um, some are not um, 
primarily English speakers. Um, mm -hmm. And so um, it is a, a very interesting job. I work with um, kids with emotional behavior mm -hmm. disorders, um, different, um, uh, different problems at home. I work with lots of different students in groups and one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. helping them with their assignments while we're in the classroom. Oh, so that's my job there. All right. Is it kind of kind of contract jobs? Contract and, job? Uh, is, is it is it a contract job, and you know you have the kind of ending date? Yes, I I end when the school year ends this year, so it's a temporary position, mm -hmm. um, and so they hired me just for a few months, and mm -hmm. I'll be ending before. So the summer. in uh, in early June, in you June. finish it. Okay, all exactly. Right. But I but I think it's a really good opportunity, you know, teaching and working with uh, you know kids with uh, some you know uh, disability. Exactly. But at least you have. Uh, how many months? Uh, at least uh, three months mm -hmm. to work with those students. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a really good, you know, experience. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, so you and you know Daniel mm -hmm. wanted to go to uh, Korea to teach. Mm -hmm. What other preparation, you know, you guys had have, have been doing? Um, other preparation in in going on this specific mm -hmm. um, journey together. Mm -hmm. Um, we've been working really hard on our, our TEFL certification course. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been really investing a lot of time in, in making sure we're reading everything mm -hmm. and um, taking notes, our own personal notes, mm -hmm. on um, how we're planning on managing our own classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking about that together um, mm -hmm. and, and coming up with different um, strategies already and mm -hmm. how we might... Mm -hmm. Um, implement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and do this in mm -hmm. a, a different country. Um, we've also been doing our research about South Korea. Um, mm -hmm. We're really excited about going specifically to South Korea. So mm -hmm. um, we're reading everything we can about where we might want to mm -hmm. um, go in, in um, Seoul and, and mm -hmm. other places in mm -hmm. South Korea. Um, we want to learn as much as we can about this culture. So we're already starting to learn um, the Korean alphabet, and mm -hmm. um, we'd love to learn um, Korean while we're over there. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot of things that we're doing to kind of start the journey mm -hmm. of um, getting acclimated to the culture, yeah. including looking up recipes and trying food, new foods at home. Right. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> okay. we're really excited. Okay. So. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, as, as a teacher, Mm -hmm. You know, you, right now you're working as a special ed uh, assistant at the uh, public school. Mm -hmm. um, as as a teacher, what kind of qualities do you think you have as a you know good teacher potential? Mm -hmm. um, a few really important qualities I think for an ESL teacher is um, I'm really good at being flexible and adapting at a mm -hmm. moment's notice. Um, so whatever um, happens in the classroom or if um, a student comes in with uh, mm -hmm. a concern, I'm really, really good at just um, changing the plan and mm -hmm. um, improvising as needed. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very, very organized. Mm -hmm. um, I like to plan ahead of time and have a real concrete idea of what Mm -hmm. I I'll do in the classroom, but I'm I'm very good at adjusting. Um, so I think, right. and I'm also uh, feel like I have a lot of patience, and that's why I really mm -hmm. like working with elementary school kids. I think I'm really good at that. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you very very much uh, for answering all the questions, mm -hmm. and nice meeting you. Nice again. meeting you too.